Victims of a quadruple murder tell their side of the story. Thanks for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Brian Collery. And I'm Stephanie Gorin. A sentencing hearing began today for Jody Herring. She's the woman who admitted to killing a social worker outside a state office building in Barrie, along with three of that social workers or three of her own relatives. All of it over a child custody dispute. NBC 5's Helena Batapaglia was in the courtroom today. She is now live in Barrie. Helena, who did we hear from today? Well, today, a number of witnesses coming forward in court explaining uh, what they saw and heard relating to that quadruple murder that happened back in August of 2015. Uh, but witnesses closest to the defendant, of course, also came to her defense, explaining that Joni Herring had a very difficult and tragic childhood and events in her childhood have changed her forever. Shot rang out and... Laura went flying through the parking lot. The day Lara Sobel was shot and killed, people were there the moment it happened. I saw that the defendant had a long black gun and um, she started to raise it um, towards Laura. Witnesses reveal the disturbing details of what they say they saw that day and what they heard Jody Herring talk about. Shooting people in the head and watching their brain matter splatter. Even before she decided to pull the trigger, killing the state DCF worker and three of her own family members. You might want to stop calling DCF or I'm going to come and shoot your brains out, she threatened. Herring has admitted to gunning down the four women back in August of 2015. A former boyfriend believes it was his gun that was used in the shootings. When I heard about it, I went upstairs and, and um, checked on if my rifle was there and it was missing. But others close to Herring explain she had a difficult, tragic upbringing and was never the same again following the murder of her father. She wasn't aware of anybody or anything around her. I mean, you could wait your hand in front of her and she wouldn't blink or anything. She just kind of stared. They say the case involving DCF just made things worse. Last time they met her, she seemed agitated and preoccupied yes. with the death of her dad. Yes. And that was about two weeks, you think, before the shootings? Yes. When asked what Herring's relationship was like with her daughter, they said the two had a very close bond. Victim impact statements are expected on Tuesday. Now, some of the defense's witness today actually admitted that there were threats against them for supporting Herring in today's hearing. Now, Herring could serve life in prison, but it still remains to be seen if she will be granted parole. For now, live in Barry, Helena Batapaglia, NBC 5 News.